this video, we're going to verify more challenging trigonometric identities using the Pythagorean trig identities. Coming up on the next slide is a quick refresher of the fundamental trig identities. So if you need a little refresher, you can pause the video, reflect, and continue. Okay, let's begin. Here we have tan x plus cotangent x all squared is equal to secant squared x plus cosecant squared x. And we want to show that the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side. So I'm just going to begin with the left-hand side and I'm going to slowly manipulate the equation until it equals the right hand side. So I'm going to say the left hand side is equal to tan x plus cotan x all squared. And now I'm just going to foil it out here. So we have this is equal to tan x plus cotan x. I'm just rewriting it so we can set it up for foil. Times tan x plus cotan x. So if I apply foil, we have tan squared x plus tan x cotangent x plus tan x cotangent x plus cotangent squared x. So now we can add these two together. So we have tan squared x plus 2 tan x cotangent x plus cotangent squared x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write tangent and cotangent in terms of sine and cosine. And we can do this using the quotient identity. So tan x will be sine squared x over cosine squared x. So we have that tangent squared x is equal to sine squared x over cosine squared x plus 2 sine x over cosine x times cosine x over sine x plus and we know that cotangent squared x is cosine squared x over sine squared x. So we say cosine squared x over sine squared x. And now I'm going to simplify a little bit. I see that sine x in the numerator will cancel with sine x in the denominator. And I see that cosine x in the numerator will cancel with cosine x in the denominator. So I'm just going to cancel those out and we're left with just 2. So we have sine squared x over cosine squared x plus 2 plus cosine squared x over sine squared x. Now the trick here is to rewrite 2 as 1 plus 1 because 1 plus 1 is 2, right? So I'm not really changing anything. So I'm going to say this is equal to sine squared x over cosine squared x plus 1 plus 1 plus cosine squared x over sine squared x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these two terms together and 
and these two terms together. So I need to come up with a common denominator for both of these two terms that we're going to add together. So if I give this a denominator of one here, I can multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by cosine squared x, and I can multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by sine squared x. And that way we can combine the numerators for each of these two terms here. So this will be equal to sine squared x over cosine squared x plus cosine squared x over cosine squared x. So I just multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by cosine squared x. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by sine squared x. So we have sine squared x over sine squared x plus cosine squared x over sine squared x. Okay, so now I can combine the numerator of these two terms together, and I can combine the numerator of these two terms together. And I'm gonna continue over here. So now we have sine squared x plus cosine squared x over cosine squared x, and we have sine squared x plus cosine squared x all over sine squared x. And we know by our Pythagorean identity that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So I can replace the numerator of both of these fractions with 1. So I'm going to say this is equal to 1 over cosine squared x plus 1 over sine squared x. And we know by the reciprocal identity that 1 over cosine squared x is equal to secant squared x. Also by the reciprocal identity, we know that 1 over sine squared x is equal to cosecant squared x. So I can replace these two fractions with an identity. So we say 1 over cosine squared x is equal to secant squared x. And we know that 1 over sine squared x is equal to cosecant squared x. And here, this is equal to the right hand side. And we are done. And that is how you verify trigonometric identities. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.